Can you tell us what permaculture is? Yeah, permaculture is the opposite of monoculture, which is the modern method of agriculture, modern agriculture. And it's the same plant planted over and over again for miles. We've all seen it on the side of the road or from the airplane, the squares and the circles. It's chemical dependent farming and machine dependent farming that kills and mutates thousands of pollination insects. It's a silent threat to the ecology. It's really um, kills the land that it's being grown on. Even in 20 years, you can't even use that soil to produce much. So it's kind of against the grain. I don't know where we got the idea from because it's not from nature, which is where we get the idea of permaculture it is from nature. It's from God's page or nature's page. And it's multiple species planted together in its intended harmony. And that soil lives and that soil's got tons of life as a matter of fact. And we can enhance, e enhance ecologies that are put together that way to make a real, a real, you know, infinite amounts of wonderland. Um, however, the permaculturist would decide. Can you tell me how um, how different a uh, vegetable is? How different the vegetables that are grown in a monoculture are different than a permaculture? They're extremely different. So when we're going to the grocery store. You've got glyphosate and a plethora of other agriculture chemicals invested in growing this domesticated, weaker species of food that would never survive out in a permaculture because it's not competitive enough of a species. It's been domesticated and it's now dependent on these chemicals to really come to fruition, right? Where permaculture is a science of raising Either that same, those species should the, the cook prefer, or, but, but I, I, I specifically work with species that are not in the grocery store. They've never been desired by the centrally distributed food system, and um, they're just completely other robust species that can hang in jungle nature, permaculture, food forest types of installations. So this is food from just straight nature? Right, well, yeah, I mean, there's agriculturally engineered products. Corn, rice are agriculturally engineered products. We don't realize this, that agricultural engineering took place in pre-Columbian times, and we don't even know today how to duplicate it or the soil types that they use, such as terra preta. But the permaculture is now, because permaculture has only really been kind of like growing over the last 40 years or 50, 60 years now since Bill Mullison started it. So this is like a concept, permanent culture from like the hippie wave, uh, you know, the, from the 60s basically. But this, it's just been revised a bunch of times. Um, and there's a, a, a human social cultural outline of how to produce these things within friends to make it faster and easier and more sustainable and repetitively, you know, but it's that for a nutritional diversity diet, I don't just particularly recommend new, permaculture best source of a lot of different species because as soon as you go to a permaculturist, his science is growing in diversity. So he's gonna have a good set of stuff for you to start with. If you can match up five of them, now you've got kind of like a nutritional di diversity requisite diet and then um, you can start to source from your own home garden, which is really the best way. And then um, you can start to also source from other just small organic farmers who maybe don't have the permaculture, but you can get specific things to them that they really love to grow and do a really good job growing. So who can really benefit from having a nutritionally diverse diet? Everyone, because we diet. like kind of a slave diet right now, a very narrow spectrum of foods that don't ag don't really answer to our nutritional needs so that's why sports athletes are addicted to supplements and all this because those help answer our performance needs so anyone who switches from the modern diet whatever diet doesn't matter vegan none of all these things are using those material those same sourcing and so and the same concept of just making a recipe with six or seven eight things i'm telling you that's that's not the way any other primate in nature eats or, or any other mammal in nature eats. And so once you switch over to a highly diverse nutritional spectrum, in my experience, which 
pretty much the best I think right now anywhere. I don't like a cocky person. I wouldn't want to be one. But that you know, in in my experience, like people, we've seen ulcer ulcerate colitis go away. Uh, just all kinds of different conditions, mental and physical, and then uh, in every case and category, performance goes up. And athletic testing, that's the easy one. I just start giving you the stuff for 20 days, and then we will show you how your physical performance markers have increased, and everybody at that point is just crying all the cries, right? You know, I, I think better, I think clearer, I'm sleeping better, um, this issue, this issue. So it's just like a really all natural human optimization thing that we should, we were at one time capitalizing on and then somehow, and, and food, by the way, modern food from the grocery store is going to get worse. It's not gonna plateau or level off. It's going to get worse as far as food quality. Absolutely, and can you explain how permaculture and nutritional diversity is better for our overall earth? Well, okay, right, yeah, so, um, first of all, we, we children have lost their connection to nature, which is, we're, we're, we're experiencing social problem crises, right? Well, kids in nature, they get examples and they get a whole different experience, and also kids who grow greens eat greens, you know? If they grew it, they're amazed. All these kids right now, they don't even have that experience, number one, and then, you know, number two, this is a practice of sustainability, essentially. It's in our back to of organic, natural life and sustainability. So in many ways, it's hugely, I mean, and the potential is endless with this if you really think about it. If we start just tending, nurturing nature, all of us, we would be living in like an avatar paradise type of a wonderland situation. It would be a lot better. You know what I mean? We just, as soon as we can take that model on, the whole entire world, world would improve immensely. And can you can you explain a little bit how it affects the soil? Yeah, so if you, you so soil life in the jungle is really abundant. It's really um, it's, it's just full of life, and we can enhance that. It was enhanced. It should be enhanced. You can get a better produce of what you're eating by enhancing the soil. So that shows you right there the importance of that relationship with nature, primarily just right, and then and you're gonna get a huge benefit from that that we're not getting right now, which is why there's health health crisis more and more as we go into the... Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got into nutritional diversity and into permaculture and what type of effect it's had on your life? Oh yeah, so this saved my life uh, pretty much. And uh, I, as a lifelong athlete, was had numerous account, like potential points in that athletic career, so, so to speak. Um, yeah, I can double my performance using this method 100%. My injury um, experience is way down. I'm almost never in injured anymore, injured anymore at all. I'm like never sick. Uh, if everybody I show this to is like, whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, it really works for every single person, every single case and category of performance. Lovely, and can you tell us a little bit about what we're gonna be doing today? Um, yeah, so we'll just do uh, a sample shake because everybody's been asking me. Um, and the first thing, and I guess the disclaimer before you show a per permaculture is you, to, you know, be ready that you're not going to recognize anything. You don't know any of these plants, and this is basically the science of creating your own jungle. So it's going to look like a jungle, but we're going to extract individual plants from this jungle somewhere around 20 species. Uh, we'll make like a highly diverse nutritional shake. And essentially, this type of nutrition has never passed through the human digestive in none of our lives, right? Because we've been eating this narrow-minded diet example, you know, the, the elementary school <laughs> chart, right, the whole time. So there could be a, night, a little bit of feeling of tingling. A lot of people, most people just run right through it, but you feel better. In 10 days, you feel like a completely different person. And then in 60 days, you're, Forget about it. There's no going back. You probably just move here. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started with the, the permaculture tour into picking. All right. Show that there's people sitting around so we could cut yeah. that in the background. And, yeah. That was fire. Was it? Yeah. Way to go. Well, yeah. dude, it's the machine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just give a little yeah, wave or skinny some gear like that. No? no. Okay. Good. Nice. <laughs> 
right. I'm eager to try that. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I really want to try that. You're going to feel it, too. 